hey guys so welcome back to my channel guys so in today's video we are going to do a bathroom makeover if you're new here my name is imani i do things all home makeovers home installation and home decorating and if you're a returning subscriber then hey y'all welcome back to the channel y'all so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get into the video so guys right here what i'm showing you guys is i have a shower liner but it's like a luxe shower liner and it's not plastic and it's like all black and the material is very nice and this is how the material looks so this is my liner i end up getting it from amazon for a little bit price and i'm gonna hang it up here So the mirror that I am hanging up, I'm going to just hang right above my shower head and I think it fits perfect right here in this little space. It is so cute guys. So guys, these are the curtain panels that I end up getting for the bathroom. I actually got them from Amazon and they were $24.99 for a set and they're 95 inches long. I just wanna show you guys how wide they are and they're so beautiful. And the material of these are like a velvet material so they look very nice and very good quality too as well. What I'm actually putting on my curtains right now is just some ribbon from Michaels. And I'm just kind of trying to create like a little design but keeping it very simple because I don't want to do too much. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other one too as well. The first thing I'm going to start with is this washcloth and I just end up putting like a little black bow around it. I thought it was super cute and I'm just going to sit this right up in the first square. Then I have these flowers that are very very elegant and I'm just going to put this right here in the middle. I thought these were super cute. And then I have some candle holders and I end up cutting the candles this time to make them short enough to fit inside of my little square. I thought these were super cute and I just love the look that it's given then I'm going to take this satin scarf and I'm going to put it in a like square shape and then what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to put it inside of my third square and I just did this just to add like a cute little background and then it's satin so it looks very luxe and it just looks really cute and then I'm going to take this silver candle and then I'm going to put my candle in front of it and it really makes it pop on that black and then also add this candle on top of the silver candle and i just think this turned out super cute and i just love the black background you can't go wrong with that black how gorgeous is this tank tray that i end up getting from ross super cute very elegant and i'm just going to sit this on the back of my toilet this is actually my first time having one of these and they're so cute then I'm going to take this vase, so gorgeous, and I'm going to put my vase inside of there first. I thought this was a nice statement piece for the back of the toilet. And then I'm going to take some coasters and I'm going to sit them next to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a candle and sit it on top of the coasters. And the coasters are basically a nice glam touch and it also adds a little height up under the candle too as well. So that's why I end up putting that right there. Last but not least, I have some washcloths and I put a little black ribbon around it just to kind of make it like, you know, elegant. I thought this was super cute, guys. Love it. I'm going to 
gonna take my little black hand towel and I'm gonna put it on my ring. I actually love the black because just putting that white against that black just really makes that black pop even more. So I'm just going to put my black hand towel first and then I'm going to take my white washcloth and then I'm going to sit it on top of my black hand towel and I just put like a little black ring around the washcloth just to give it a little glam touch. On my sink area, I'm going to use this silver and white soap dispenser. I just love that white and then just the crushed glass is super cute. And then of course I had to get the toothbrush holder to go with it too as well. And then I'm going to put my toothbrush holder on the other side. Then I'm going to take this picture frame with a bathroom quilt and I've already put the other one up. And I'm going to just put this right here on the side of my mirror and I just printed these. Then I'm going to take this very beautiful memory foam bath mat and I'm going to place it onto my floor. It is so beautiful guys and it just looks so good. I just love the design on her too as well. And it's so soft to step on guys. I love this like oh my goodness this is so cute. So I thought this was a cute little added touch to the bathroom. Then I'm going to take this tissue holder and it's like a chrome finish and I'm just going to place my tissue in here and you can fit about three in here and I just love like the glam look of it and I'm just going to sit this on the side of my toilet and yeah I think it's a nice little handy but very cute piece.
white curtains end up coming from Amazon and they were $24.99. And then behind my black shower liner is my mirror that I end up getting from the Goodwill. And this mirror actually retailed me $5.99. And I just thought it was so cute. I love the shape and I feel like it goes very well with my decor inside my bathroom and just very just classy. I love it. And then I'm just giving you guys a close up right here. And then I just end up putting it above in my shower and I think it's really cute this is the brand of the shower liner if you guys want to get it from Amazon just let me know and these are the hooks that I have and the hooks actually came from Burlington and they were $5.99 so guys right here I have this tank tray and I end up getting it from Ross and it was $5.99 I thought it was very very beautiful and I just love the design on there it is just absolutely gorgeous So the washcloths I ended up getting from Ross and they were $5 and I just ended up putting like a little black bow on it. And then my candle I ended up getting from Burlington and it was $5 and then I just ended up putting mirror coasters up under it just to add height. And then this vase right here which is so beautiful I ended up getting from Ross and it was $8.99. And then I got the flowers from Hobby Lobby. And then as we come up here, as you guys seen earlier, I end up putting a satin scarf in here just to have like a little cute background. I thought it looked very elegant. And then I have my candle that I got from Burlington for $5. And then my candle holder that I got from Burlington for $4. And then guys, up here I have a very beautiful vase that I end up getting from Burlington and it was $9.99. And then my candle holders came from the Goodwill and they were a dollar a piece. And then my candles end up coming from the Goodwill and they were a dollar a piece as well. And then I just have some washcloths from Ross for $3.99 and then I just end up putting a black bow on it. I thought that turned out really cute. And then guys over here I just have my black hand towel and then I just have a white washcloth. And then I just end up DIYing a little ring. I put like ribbon around this ring that I got from Dollar General. And that's what I created right there for the washcloth to go inside of. And then this right here end up coming from Home Depot and it was $7. Over here I have this very beautiful toothbrush holder that I end up getting from Ross and it was $4.99. And then I also have the soap dispenser and this was $5.99. I thought these were very beautiful. And then my mirror ended up coming from Burlington and it was $2. And then I ended up printing out some bathroom quotes from Google. And then my frames I got from Michaels. And I just spray painted them black. And I think everything turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love everything that I did to the bathroom. It looks really nice. I hope you guys all enjoyed my bathroom makeover today and I hope you guys got some tips out of today's video.